Okay, so once, if you want to find images from Google Classroom, I'm going to open this up. My computer's slow, so I apologize if this video is very slow. Really slow. <laughs> okay, once this image comes up, I'm going to hit download. So this is the picture the student provided me. So maybe you want to crop it because maybe it's not shot so beautifully. So if I click on this arrow down here, I want to open when done because opening it will allow me to crop it. Okay, so this is the cropping tool. So in case your student shot the picture and you can see their dog in the background, you can click and drag this to crop it. Save copy. It's going to save it, but where is it going to save it? It's going to save it in the folder that you create. If you don't know how to create that folder, you right click. Of course, on my computer, it's not working. So if you right click, it'll just say the bottom new folder and then you label it. So I'm going to save it in Art Show. Open, save. Saving my copy. So I'll continue to do the upload portion. Um, another thing too, I'm gonna show you real quick. Maybe you actually have a hard copy of something. This is something I learned from my students. On the school computer, if you go down to this little magnifying glass, I can type in the word camera. And it will show that me the camera on. Oh, you know what? It's not going to, I don't know if it'll work. Will it work? Yeah, it's not going to work because I'm on Zoom right now and you see me here on the right. But normally, if you uh, put on camera, I can hold up the student artwork and take a picture with my computer camera and save that into the folder as well. So that's another alternate, but I think all of your work is digital. So um, I think that's it. The rest is uh, the original video where you go to Fairlawn uh, Schools and log in. Stop sharing.